Eagle Eyes, Jake here. Jake, you've got to help me. I just got a great deal. But I also blew my birthday money, and my mom's going to kill me. What happened? I bought an autograph of George Washington for $50. It's in great shape. Only I started thinking, how do I know it's real? We can find out if it's real. Where are you? I'm at Taylor Park. I was supposed to put $25 in the bank and spend the other $25. If my mom finds out I spent it all, I'll be grand until I'm 65. We'll be right there. Bobby's a great guy and a good friend of ours. We have to help him figure out if he was ripped off. I was in the mall at the baseball card show that ends today. There's a bank right there. So I was going to deposit $25 and then spend the other $25 like my mom said I could. This one booth had nothing but autographed baseballs. I wanted to buy cards. So I was about to leave, but this guy asked me, Ever seen a George Washington autograph? He shows it to me, and it looks real. Then he tells me I can buy it for $100. I told him I only had 50 and he told me he'd make me a deal. I said, okay, and I bought it. Check it out. We have to get to the mall before that show closes. Otherwise, we may never see this Jackie King again, and Bobby may have lost his money. This looks like a great card show. I've been meaning to come check it out. Look, there's the booth for King's House of Cards over there. Hi there, kids. Which one of these autographed baseballs you want? I got all the stars. We wanted to ask you about a George Washington autograph you sold to one of our friends. Sorry, kids, but that was a one-of-a-kind item. I bought it from a guy at a card show up at the state capitol. I do have this Babe Ruth autograph baseball, though. This ball is over 50 years old, only $200. See the smudge on the autograph? Lots of dealers wouldn't point it out, but I'm honest, so I will. If that smudge weren't there, the ball would be worth $500. Bobby asked us not to get help on this case from his mother, Mrs. Garcia, at the library. He'll tell her the truth tonight when she gets home. Until then, the library is off limits. But maybe Mrs. Arnold at the Richview Historical Society will have some clues that will help us. Well, George Washington never came to Richview because our town wasn't founded until after he died in 1799. But let's see what we can find. You might find something interesting in these boxes. They're filled with old letters donated by various families that have lived in Ridgeview for generations. Be very careful with them, please. The paper is old and delicate. There may even be letters there from the Revolutionary War when George Washington led the army. The Revolutionary War lasted until 1783 seven years after the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4, 1776. Wow! This letter was written to an ancestor of Mrs. Harper. Why, yes, you're right. She gave it to us because vandals tore it in half when they broke into her home. It broke her heart to see it damaged like that. She says it was written by George Washington. Unfortunately, without the bottom half of the letter, we can't officially say that. Museums can't say something is true if they don't know for sure.
That's when the first newspapers started in our little town. Your autograph is from 1781, 60 years earlier. Andy Hill runs Hill's Baseball Card Shop. I wonder why he didn't get a booth at the card show. Hi, kids. Hi, Andy. Why aren't you at the card show in the mall? Too expensive. They wanted $80 a table, and I'm already paying for my shop here. It's slow today, but tomorrow the show's over, and my customers will come back. We're trying to figure out if this George Washington autograph is genuine. Can you give us any help? Let's have a look. Hmm. I know a little bit about baseball player autographs, but I've never seen a George Washington autograph before. In general, the only way to know an autograph is genuine is to ask the famous person to sign it for you. If you watch them do it, you know it's for real. Are there lots of fake autographs out there? Most autographs that people sell are genuine, but there are lots of fake ones around too. It's really hard to be sure, but there are some clues. It looks like this paper was signed with an old fountain pen or quill, like they really used in those days. Ballpoint pens and felt tips weren't invented until much later. I wish I could tell you more about it. I don't see anything about it that proves it's real, but I don't see any proof it's not real either. Sorry, but that's not for sale. It's about 60 years old. I just keep it here at the shop to show people. Lou Gehrig was a great slugger who played with Babe Ruth. How much would I have to pay to buy a ball like this? Autographed by Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig? I mean, it's all yellowed and everything. Any old ball turns yellow or brown. Many are covered with shellac, a coat of clear paint to protect the ink, but that makes them turn even more yellow. Even like this, you'd pay $4,000 and up for a ball autographed by Gehrig or Ruth. I think you've figured out whether the autograph is genuine or fake. Pick the four clues that you use to solve the case. Those are the clues we needed. Now, is the autograph real? If you think so, choose George Washington. If not, choose the person you think is responsible for the fraud. That's it. The autograph is real. George Washington did sign Bobby Garcia's paper. Let's check the evidence. The autograph says George Washington, Continental Army, 1781. Bobby Garcia bought the autograph from Jackie King at the baseball card show for $50. After looking at the rest of his merchandise, we suspected that Jackie King was a crook. But could the George Washington autograph still somehow be real? The torn letter Mrs. Arnold showed us was written to Mrs. Harper's ancestor by George Washington in 1781, the same year as the autograph. The bottom half had been stolen from her home three years ago. The paper in that letter matches Bobby's autograph. So does the ink. And so does the handwriting. Bobby's autograph is real. It was part of the letter that was stolen from Mrs. Harper. <laughs>